My population does not support KKK. But this gentleman up here... There. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, my thing is, if, 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 if what he's saying is not true, let's bring somebody forward to prove him to be a liar. Muhammad, can you please tell me why it's blacks who are killing... In, in Rwanda and other places, and can you please tell me why from Haiti, blacks from Haiti are just risking their lives to come here to the United States of America? I'll tell you if I get a chance. Black people have been robbed, as I said earlier, of a knowledge of self. And when you rob people, sir, of a knowledge of self, then it means that they, be, they start to take on the characteristics and the nature of their oppressor and their colonizer. And his mind, by automatic, systematic, remote control, rules in our people. He gives them the guns and the weapons and the drugs and the alcohol, the way you did our brothers, the red man and the red woman, brothers and sisters, the way you did our Latino brothers and sisters, and then you pit one against the other and then say, look at what these people are doing. Yes. Adolf Hitler perpetrated the Holocaust. Uh, may I have your attention, please? Adolf Hitler perpetrated the Holocaust on 11 million people that died, 6 million of which were Jews, 5 million were others. Am I to understand that you would very much support his way of doing things and him for that matter? Sir, this is not reverse racism nor discrimination that you could tie into your statement on Hitler. If the slave master is whipping the slave and blood is running down the slave's back and the slats incidentally where the term cracker comes from from the cracker man who was crack had the crack of the whip on the slave's back but if the slave takes the slave master's whip from him and starts whipping the slave master with his own whip that is not reverse racism that is not reverse discrimination that is the slave getting out from under the yoke of bondage and oppression i don't advocate what hitler has done before the world Hitler's struggle. I went to the Holocaust Memorial Museum and I tried to separate Hitler as a freak of nature from the rest of white people. But after all that we have gone through, I know that there's a little bit of Hitler in all white people and a lot of Hitler. In and we'll be back in just a moment. Who you wanted to say? Yes. To the uh, Jewish brother up there, well, not brother, but the Jewish man. What about Goldstein, who slaughtered 39 Palestinians and became a Jewish hero? Publicly, rabbi said what? About the fingernails, of Dr. Collins? Said that the rabbi said that the fingernail of one Jew was worth more than all of the Arabs in the world. And the New York Times ran the lead story with the photo showing the Jews fouling past his grave. Yes. They not only called him a hero, but a saint. Yes, may I make this point, Mr. Muhammad? The atrocity perpetrated by Goldstein was roundly and publicly condemned by the entire leadership of the Jewish community in America as well as the uh, leaders of uh, the state of Israel. Let me ask you this. They publicly condemned that action, and I can't even get you to look into the camera and convey the, even the remotest notion that you have in your heart some love for two Jews who died trying to save black people in the South. I speak of You cannot Schwimmer get me to look into the camera and do that. Yeah. May, I ask, well, may I ask you to kindly speak to that? You cannot get me to look into the camera and show love for two Jews. I don't even know them. I live with this pain and suffering every day among my own people. Look at our babies there in the Oakland, in the Bay Area. They're watching Schindler's List. You have your Schindler's List, but for us it's been a Swindler's List because someone is attempting to steal our birthright. They stopped the movie. Take our babies out of the movie as though it's such a moral outrage. And then Spielberg comes in. The governor comes in. 
What about the statements of the Jew, Howard Stern, the comedian, Jackie Mason? What about Moshe Dayan? What about the fact that members of the Senate have made racist comments and Congress, and they were voting against me, but they were not brought up by their own colleagues in that so-called august body? Yeah. Hello. What I'd like to point out is just as you said that you can't judge all black people by one person, you can't judge white people by just Hitler. What you have to realize is, is that we're in a diverse nation, which is America, and we have a lot to learn from everybody in this room. I feel I do. From all black people, all white people, and anyone else who happens to be in this room with me. America's the first Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Muhammad, could you please tell me, does Islam believe in Judaism and Christianity? And under Islam, are Jews and Christians are people of the book? Do you believe that? And further, do you believe, sir, that one people and one book sent by the same one God? And you refer to the people up front that they are your brothers. Is it possible, Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, that I am your brother also? And is it also possible that we are brothers truly responsible for each other? Is that possible? The Holy Quran says that the messenger of God believes in what has been revealed, and so do the believers. And I am a believer. In Islam, we believe in one God whose personal and proper name is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that one God, we believe, sent all the prophets and the great ones in the great line of divine, and we believe in all of the revealed scriptures. I don't know you, sir. I could feel that if you were attempting to live according to the law of God, then you might be my brother in the faith, but not my brother by nature. Right. Mr. Muhammad. Mr. Muhammad, are you aware, Mr. Muhammad, that the courts martial system on or about or in or about World War II condemned many black sailors for their involvement in handling munitions where many of them died as a result of their handling these munitions? Would you believe, Mr. Muhammad, that the Jewish war veterans that I'm proud to represent took this issue on, and we have condemned the United States Navy as it relates to the deaths of these sailors, and we have condemned them for their continuance, dishonorable discharge of these black sailors. I ask you, Mr. Muhammad, what have you done on this specific issue? Well, it's kind of difficult to believe you on anything, but I would say this that I do know that during that same war that America was, as is today, so racist until the German officers, when they were captured, could eat in the same mess hall and have the same accommodations as the white American officers. But the black troops were segregated, couldn't come into that mess hall unless they were scrubbing the floors and washing dishes. So it was a white man honoring another white man, though one was American and one was German and they were supposed to be enemies, there was still a tie that was able to bind the two together. And we'll be back in just a moment. Yes. Yes. You want to show that? What is that? Is that a... Uh... It's a black man being burned alive with an audience like this cheering and applauding and tiptoeing to get in the picture. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, hi. Um, yes. I'm representing Queens College, and everyone is talking about uh, what's been denied.